Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to this morning's Our Daily Bread. This morning's topic is True Friends. It is Saturday, November 13, and I want to say Happy Sabbath to all the Sabbath worshippers. In high school, I had a sometimes friend. We were buddies at our church, and we occasionally hung out together outside of school. But at school, it was a different story. If she met me by herself, she might say hello, but only if no one else was around. Realizing this, I really tried to gain her attention within school walls. I knew the limits of our friendship. We have probably all experienced the pain of disappointingly one-sided or narrow friendships. But there's another kind of friendship. One that extends beyond all boundaries. It's the kind of friendship we have with kindred spirits who are committed to sharing life's journey with us. David and Jonathan were such friends. Jonathan was one in spirit with David and loved him as himself. 1 Samuel chapter 18 verses 1 to 3. Although Jonathan would have been next in line to rule after his father Saul's death, he was loyal to David, God's chosen replacement. Jonathan even helped David to evade two of Saul's plots to kill him, chapter 19 verses 1 to 6 and chapter 20 verses 1 to 42. Despite all odds, Jonathan and David remained friends, pointing to the truth of Proverbs 17, verse 17. A friend loves at all times. Their faithful friendship also gives us a glimpse of the loving relationship God has with us. John chapter 3, verse 16. John chapter 15, verse 15. Through friendships like theirs, our understanding of God's love is deepened. Who do you consider a true friend? Why? How is it comforting to know that God is our truest friend? Heavenly Father, we long for friends. Please open up doors to true, lasting, and God-centered friends. Today's reading comes to us from 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 1 to 4, and 1 Samuel chapter 19, verses 1 to 6. The key verse for today comes from Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. It reads, A friend loves at all times. For Samuel chapter 18, verses 1 to 4. After David had finished talking with Saul, Jonathan became one in spirit with David, and he loved him as himself. From that day, Saul kept David with him and did not let him return home to his family. And Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself. Jonathan took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David 
along with his tunic and even his sword, his bow, his belt. For Samuel's chapter 19, verses 1 to 6, Saul told his son Jonathan and all the attendants to kill David. But Jonathan had taken a great liking to David and warned him, My father Saul is looking for a chance to kill you. Be on your guard tomorrow morning. Go into hiding and stay there. I will go out and stand with my father in the field where you are. I'll speak to him about you and I will tell you what I find out. Jonathan spoke well of David to Saul his father and said to him, Let not the king do wrong to his servant David. He has not wronged you. And what he has done has benefited you greatly. He took his life in his hands when he killed the Philistine. The Lord won a great victory over all Israel, and you saw it and were glad. Why then would you do wrong to an innocent man like David by killing him for no reason? Saul listened to Jonathan and took this oath. As surely as the Lord lives, David will not be put to death. Glory to God. Here endeth a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, now and forever shall be, world without end. Amen, and amen, and amen. I would like to recap this morning's Our Daily Bread. The topic is True Friends. Today's reading, 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 1 to 4, and chapter 19, verses 1 to 6. The key verse comes from Proverbs 17, verse 17. It reads, A friend loves at all times. Thank you for tuning in to this morning's Our Daily Bread. I do hope and trust that there was a word that you can meditate upon. Most importantly, you can share with someone. God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Remember, remember to subscribe to my channel, Life with Jeline. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. God bless you.